Okay, uh, very good evening to you. Um, should I say morning again? The time is currently half past one, uh, about the normal time. So what I'm going to look at is a automatic centre punch that I got from AliExpress and um, I'll let you know I'm in dispute with a seller at the moment so that'll give you some idea of uh, what I'm doing with the uh, with this and this is probably not going to be a favourable review. What we've got, we have a very nice machined brass with a nice sharp-ish point, it doesn't have to be um, syringe needle sharp it just needs to be reasonably sharp and and as you can see it's spring loaded um, and generally it looks quite a nice piece of kit um, unfortunately and uh, I say unfortunately it does that um, where they've machined it the thread here and if I bring it up to the camera and get a focus as you probably realised, I've also set the autofocus to stop jiggling about like it was before. You can see the thread in there. It's not actually damaged. Um, it is actually a good thread. But um, this thread here is um, not the same as this thread here. So what you have effectively is uh, something that doesn't... Let's focus you in again doesn't join together very well um, you know, it, it, that's all well and good now this part is actually meant to set the tension on this spring um, so if you don't need so much force if you're doing something say fairly soft like copper um, you don't need as much force as if you were do if you as if you were doing something like uh, tool steel or um, you know, general mild steel, everything needs a slightly different tension. So, effectively, this, this thing is um, useless. Uh, now, I know some people are going to say, well, why didn't you buy a, a real centre punch? Well, I've got one. Um, but I fancied not having to uh, take all the crap down off the wall to, to get to the hammer and... Um, you know, basically I was being lazy. Um, so, what's actually in this? Well, let, let's take it completely to bits. Okay, so you've you've got this central machine barrel, um, which has uh, got a, a nice... Um, again, I'm going to try and focus you in and see if we can get that plug to show up. You can see the the machined part in there um, I'm not sure if it's machined or whether it's uh, an insert it's uh, it could well be an insert in in a thread so let's focus you back down on the table there we go um, so, so you've got the plug there and basically that holds against the top spring like so no problem um, sorry I'll get it right in a minute this bit goes in there, this bit goes in there, that bit goes on the top to create the tension. And then this bit in the bottom is your, your actual hammer mechanism. And that pushes up, up until the point where it releases because of the, uh, the way the spring uh, mates with this hammer section as you see it goes as far as it can and then flies back at a at an enormous sort of velocity to hammer this point um, down so yeah as you push down you're pushing up and then sooner or later it just go twang and uh, once it gets to the point where you can't push any more set by the tension on this spring so you know once it reaches enough pressure against this spring to overcome this spring um, then it fires forward which which is fair enough uh, sorry the other way around this spring overcomes this spring it's great but you know 
if there's no way of holding the forces against each other um, it's it's not going to work so uh, as I say there's there's that now this is a nice machining um, I'm not going to lie it, it's it's a nice bit of whether it is full-on brass or whether it's uh, another alloy I don't know but um, this bit certainly here um, is nicely machined and that goes you know it, it fit that fits together absolutely perfectly you know, you can't get better than that and as you see that clips up and down and up and down no problem then obviously you've got the the hammer assembly and you have to make sure that the holes there so that the um, center plunger there can go through that there you push that in there and then in theory this should be able to set you know half tension or if you go all the way down full tension and um, now it's not a problem if you put your hand over the end on maximum tension and then you can sort of get a spring but it doesn't want to stay on so you, you can't really use this because it doesn't there we go it worked that time and it worked that time but unless you're consistently holding this cap um, I'm going to put my hand over the top and if I push down and hopefully this is going to come yeah it, it's just not engaging and there you go it, it, it's it's so yeah there we go um sorry ali but uh, that's my dispute you you've got the video um or the, the 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 quick video i took with my cell phone of why i want the refund um it's just over a couple of quid this nothing drastic so you know if it all goes tits up um i'm sure i could get another cap made up but to be quite honest you know you pay your money you takes your chance with everything from china in some cases so there we go that's the aliexpress automatic center punch um as i am in dispute i'm not gonna link to the listings until i get sort of some sort of resolution so at this point you know there we go if you search aliexpress for brass automatic center punch you may well find a listing um but uh I'm not going to say, oh, they're all total rubbish, because this might be just one that's wrong. If they are all wrong, then the seller should realise that he's selling crap. But um, there we go. Thanks very much for watching, and um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little 10-minute blast of fun, and we shall see you in the next video.